Well, of course, the truth about what has been happening on the ground has been very hard to come by. Most information has been coming from activists there using the internet. But now Al Jazeera can reveal that we have had a correspondent in Yangon since the crackdown began. Yes, for his own safety, though, we are not revealing his name nor showing his face. His first exclusive report from inside Myanmar tells the story of what happened there on Wednesday as the violence intensified. Openly, in a huge show of defiance, Myanmar's monks took to the streets again, determined to challenge the military dictatorship. With Buddhist flags raised, they marched through Yangon, chanting religious mantras and calling for peace. Always at the head of any group, the monks. The men in Maroon have become the biggest challenge to the generals in nearly 20 years. They, they say, within 10 minutes, within 10 minutes, go back or go back home. Well, what will they do? Just, just, they, 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 they see. They the same. Yeah. 10 minutes. With 10 minutes. Later, 10 minutes. It made no difference. Women with babies, crippled men and students all joined the demonstrations. And as I walked with the protesters, they aired their grievances about the dictatorship. Very, very dangerous government. Lines of soldiers and riot police faced us, barring the people from their goal. The Sule Pagoda, one of the holiest Buddhist shrines in Yangon. Shots rang out, this time over our heads, a warning to disperse. Near the city's holy shrine, the Schwedigan Pagoda, such a symbol of past resistance, armed police corralled a group of monks. But then tensions spilled over, monks fled over a nearby wall, and police used force against the group. Then they fired tear gas. Police reinforcements came in, but defiantly the monks and their followers edged forward in the face of the guns and continued their direct challenge. There is huge uncertainty about what will happen here, whether this will become a defining moment, a turning point in Myanmar's future, or another bout of state-sponsored killing and brutality is in the hands of the generals, or more accurately, the young soldiers who are now pointing their guns at their countrymen.